don't have to do this, Grace. There's still time to say something. Are you listening? I, I don't want to force a whole frenzy around Honey, me. I am not trying to force you. I'm just saying. I have a million eyes on me and no answer to give for what happened. So people wouldn't notice if you cloaked? People go invisible for a shit ton of reasons. I get where you're going through. I just no, don't, don't think this didn't happen to you. Cloaking could be more helpful. What do you think a street drug is going to do? Tegaprel is medically prescribed in New York, Jackie. You know, it's permanent, right? They have reversing medication, if I wanted it. I just don't think it's fair to you. That asshole is walking the streets in broad daylight. Anyone could look at him without batting an eye, but you have to destroy your body to feel happy. Do not guilt me for this. I'm not trying to shame you. I just don't think your life's gonna go back to normal if you become invisible. Can you stop tapping your fucking foot? What does your family say? They think it's a good idea. And the hospital does too. What is the hospital gonna do with your kit? I had them keep it. So what about him? What about him? I never want to see that fuck face again, okay? That's it. How are people going to interact with you if they can't see you? You'll still be able to hear me. I'm not wiping myself off the face of the earth. Like, I'll post on Facebook and stuff. I don't know. Fine, okay? Let's say I went out with it. How many people would actually be on my side? And how many would tell me I should have known better? Why'd you go to a party on a Saturday night, Grace? Why'd you take a drink from him? How, how'd you let him just throw you in that room and tear off that slutty top you were wearing? Were you really just screaming or were you imagining the whole thing? I, how, was, how was it possible that every inch of your body was, was, was touched and kissed and violated without your consent? How's it possible? It seems like you were just leading him on. How? I'm sorry. I believe you, okay? You tell anyone else you're doing this? Uh, just, uh, just my family. And I'll tell Amanda that I'm cooking. Yeah, <laughs> your roommate should probably know. Okay? This is what you need to do. Thanks, Jackie. Not hungry? Uh, no, I haven't really been feeling all that well lately. Oh, shit. By the way, I think Luke is going to have a party at his apartment this weekend if you wanted to join. So when's he going to ask you out? Haha. Uh -huh. We're just friends, Amanda. Mm. Don't think that's what he wants, Max. I don't like him. Anyways, do you want to go, Grace? I'm not sure, Max. More people are recognizing the ultimate benefits Tegopril or CB237 is going to produce for our world. It's invaluable. It's too dangerous. It is not dangerous. The practicality of an invisibility pill raises numerous questions concerning personal safety and crime. You cannot live your life normally knowing that there is always someone there. Grace. Grace. Can you turn that off, please? Oh. 
The government has been strictly regulating Tegopril for medical uses like anxiety, trauma, depression. Not to mention in the United States, almost every building and home is equipped with thermal scanners that detect when anyone comes and goes. And cloakers are given CIDs to differentiate them when they go close. It's safe and what we need right now. Sorry! Dad, you took your time. <laughs> so, how many of those pills are you taking a week? Like, two. Really? I know what I'm doing. Jesus! Grace? Yeah, Jackie! Oh, fuck. Wow. Yeah. And you got a meta backpack, too. <laughs> yeah, and it wasn't cheap. Can we go? Um, yeah. Yeah, let's go. How are you feeling? Great. Like, not weird or like... Don't worry, I'm fine. So, what are you going to tell people? That I was going through some stuff, and this semester was way too stressful, and... I don't know, I felt like trying this out. That's it? <laughs> Nobody's going to care. People are still going to say shit. Okay, I don't have to care anymore. That's the point. Is Grace still with us? We did come with her, right? Right here. Just didn't get anything. Not feeling all that well. Supposed to work on the psych project? I'll send you my for the PowerPoint. Okay. We should hang out sometime. Um, sure. 
and all, um, but I'm just wondering if there's like, like I haven't interacted with a lot of cloaked people where I'm from or even here, so I was just wondering if maybe there was like a way to, I don't know, know you're around. Oh, um, yeah, we can come up with a system or something. It's nothing bad, right? What do you mean? For why you took the pills? No! say something instead of like, I don't know, whatever, shutting yourself out. Let's just go ahead.
yours? Uh, no, sorry. Hey, you're uh, David from physics, right? <laughs> sorry, I forgot that you're um. Looks, it happens. You okay? Uh, yeah, yeah. Do you mind me asking why you did it? Uh, just some personal reasons. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to. You're good. Mind if I... Sure. So why'd you? Kind of because of my fucked up family. And I was just doing a lot of dumb shit in high school. It's not legal in Wyoming yet, so... How are you liking it? Um... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it fucks you up. I still get a lot of nosebleeds, but... <coughs> <coughs> you get used to the symptoms. And like, there's not much withdrawal or anything after you're actually cloaked. So, I, I can't imagine going back to dealing with everything. Hey, you're really pretty. I was so confused when I heard that you cloaked. Get away from me, you fucking creep! What? What the fuck's wrong with you? Hey! Hey, what the fuck's wrong with you? We haven't seen, we haven't talked to you in a while. Are you okay? Where are you all the time? I'm doing fine. I need your help. With what? Hey, it's alright. I want to know about Tegopro. Oh. oh. It's not because I'm like, like I know that people take it for different reasons and I'm not trying to probe you about why you did. It's totally personal, I get that. I'm just in a, I was walking home one night in the sky. Mads. I just, I need your help, Grace. Horrible. Oh my fucking gosh, Mads. Hey, it's okay. I'm so sorry I wasn't there for you earlier. You weren't expected to know. I need your help. I'm so sorry, I need a minute. Wait, Mads! Mads! Was it, was it someone we know? Was it Luke? He was walking around from a party. <sighs> if you can't already tell, Max is really scared. Her parents want her to take the pill and her doctors. I think she came here just to hear you say the same thing, but I don't want to lose another friend. Get over yourself. I understand that it is hard to talk about these things immediately, and I'm sorry for trying to force you into talking earlier. I'm not trying to force Mads into talking either, but she shouldn't leave the option out. You really think Mads will want to talk now? I don't think she knows what outcome she wants. 
just being forced into one. The world would rather have made this drug than to start believing us. Thought it was supposed to help. I guess you can't escape everything. I'm so tired of having every day be us against the world. Except Wednesdays. Wednesdays are the only days I don't have class. I get to sleep in, not wanting to throw up over all the bullshit that I deal with on every other day. That asshole Owen in my physics class who stares at my tits thinking I won't notice. Or every single sleaze that slaps my ass on the way out of the elevator. That fucking abomination that I see on the way to work in Union Square, he's always selling watches. He loves telling me how much he'd love to fuck my brains out. I should say something. But then what? My teacher tells me to mind my business. My boss threatens to fire me. Or every other person just runs from helping. We either need to show off ourselves every moment or hide. It's never our choice. It's ugly and it's unfair. And I can't imagine the hurt that you and Mads went through. Saying all this shit about myself, but I don't know what I would do if I was in your position. But here I am telling you that as painful as it may be, it's not your fault. It wasn't Mads' fault either. You guys should know that. What am I supposed to do? Forget what everyone else is thinking and just focus on you. I don't know how this sounds coming from me, but you can't force someone to talk if they're not ready, but you can't silence them forever. You guys are survivors. You should feel safe first. You should be the ones deciding how you move forward. I'm sorry I wasn't a better friend to you through all this. I'll go get them. Mads? Amanda? You okay? Wait, I have to use the bathroom. My name is Grace, and I... My name is Grace, and I was... Grace and I am 19 years old. My, my name is My name is Grace Castellan. I am 19 years old and I was at a party and My name is Grace Castellan. I am 19 years old. I was at a party this past November where I was raped. My name is Grace Castell and I am 19 years old and I was... <sighs> My name is Grace Castell and I am 19 years old and I was raped. I was raped this past November, November 2017. I was at a party and I was raped. My name is Grace Castell and I am 19 years old and I was raped. I was at a party in November 2017 where I was raped.
Okay. Can we talk now? Yeah. But there's something I need to tell you first. I'm so glad it's not gonna snow anymore. Hey, don't jinx it. Oh, my bad, I can't wait for the blizzard in May. <laughs> okay, that's a good point, but climate change will still kill us. True. I wish I'd come here when I first visited. It might have been a better trip. No, I didn't come to the city till I moved here, so like... Right, right. I mean, when I, well, I was 10 when I first visited, you know, and, and my family just wanted to see the Empire State Building and Times Square. And we'd come right after winter, and there was this big storm, and nobody had bothered to clean shit. Run! I mean, my boots that I got for Christmas were ruined the minute I got off the subway. Oh, no, oh god, the fucking subway. We just, we got so lost going, going up and down the city. And then taxi drivers were just so aggressive. Like, like every ride was their last ride of their lives. And I mean, I, I wanted to barf after every ride. I don't know, and seeing Empire was just, Someone special. I mean, the view, the view was whatever, but there was this really annoying couple that was just screaming around us the entire time. And Times Square just melted my eyes. I mean, it's just a bunch of blaring signs, and and an overweight Mickey Mouse trying to take a picture with me. <laughs> I don't know. I, I was convinced that the city was out to destroy me. I mean, I don't, I don't know. I was ten. My college visit. I mean, it was just the opposite. You know, everything went so right to the point that I, I didn't even bother carrying other schools. I don't know why it was like that. I, it just was, I guess. I don't know. The city's not out to get you or to help you. I don't know, it's weird. Okay, but the winners here still suck. Aren't you used to shitty weather? You're from Chicago. And I hated it there too. <laughs> Oh, hey. I gotta go to my appointment. Oh, okay. See you at dinner? Yeah, I think Jackie and Amanda are coming too. Cool. Okay, Mads? Yeah? Just remember, I love you, and it's over. You wanna be my therapist? <laughs> I love you too. Are you taking your reversing medication? Yeah. Good. I'll see you later. Bye. Bye.